Have you guys seen Netflix's new hit series, Wednesday? Oh my gosh, it's great. I highly recommend it. You need to go and watch it. But on there, Wednesday has some fabulous crochet and knit items in her wardrobe. And this is my take on her sweater vest. So there's a story behind this one. And I don't know if you want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you. So when I was watching it and I saw her wearing this vest, I was like, oh my gosh, that's crochet. So I'd pause it and I'm taking a look at it and I can see that it's 10 stitches wide for each checker pattern and five rows. So then I'd watch the episode, which is episode five, by the way. Um, I would watch the episode again. And every scene that she showed up in it, I would pause the video to get a good look at this sweater vest. It's fabulous. And so I sat down and tried to make it. And my first attempt, it ended up just massive because of the type of yarn that I was using. I was like, oh my gosh. And it was DK yarn. And looking at the pattern, I can tell how many stitches I needed to have. And uh, just for the checker part and the stripes, you know, it's 80 stitches to get hit that pattern. And I was like, oh, and then you need sides. So it ended up being massive. So then I went on the hunt for the right kind of yarn, which needed to be a lot thinner. And I had a brand here, but not the right colors. And I tried it and I worked out my gauge and I was like, okay, this is what I need to get. So let me go to Hobby Lobby, which it just happened to be yarn week. So it was gonna work out just great. So I go to Hobby Lobby and don't you know, they don't have the black in the type of yarn that I want. Well, my Jenna, not Jenna Ortega, but my Jenna went with me and she spotted this other yarn. And I was like, oh, that might work, but I'll have to redo my gauge. So yeah. I had to add a few stitches to the sides and it worked out great and it turned out fabulous. So I'm going to show you just what I did to make this sweater vest. So here we go. Yeah, I was going to do the Adam snap, but I think I'll pass on that. So let, let's just, let's just check it out and see how we make this sweater vest. So today is Wednesday. And we are going to make Wednesday's uh, sweater vest. And it is like a black and white checkerboard with a black stripe down, it, breaking up the, the checkers. So I am going to use this yarn, B yarn from Hobby Lobby. It was not my first choice of yarn. Um, they did not have the kind that I wanted. And, but this still feels nice. Um, no clue how you'd pronounce that. It's black, which, yeah, I know it's hard to see black on the camera. It's hard to see black in person. It says it is a three weight, but it is much, much thinner. It's more like a two. If you use a regular three weight, your project will come out ginormous. Trust me, I already had that happen. And then white which it also says that it's a, a three, but again, it's more like a two. And it's made of this particular yarn is 75% viscose, 25% polyester. It does not say what size crochet hook to use, but it says a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle. I will be using a 3.5 crochet hook. And to get started, you're going to use your black. You will chain 111, and in the second chain from your hook, you're going to single crochet all the way back to the other end so that you end up with 110 single crochets. Now I've already done that because, well, I didn't feel there was any need for you guys to watch me struggle getting that first row done. So we're gonna start off with chaining three, that will count as a double crochet all through this entire project. 
and then we're going to crochet 15 black. So we already have one. We're going to do 14 more double crochets. So that's one, two. When you get to the 15th double crochet, you do not complete it. We're going to bring on our white just as soon as I find the start of it. Of course. Okay, so we're going to add, add in our white to complete that stitch. And we're going to do 10 double crochets in the white over the next 10 stitches. Now you're going to work over top of your tail and carry the black with you. So you're going to always be working over top of the opposite color that you are working with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the tenth stitch, we're switching back to the black. And we're going to do 20 of the black, oh, 20 double crochets in the black over the next 20 stitches. That's one. Two. Three. On the 20th stitch, drop your black, bring back up your white to complete the stitch, and then do 10, um, 10 double crochets in the white over the next 10 stitches. On the tenth stitch, you bring back up your black and do 20 double crochets in the black over the next 20 stitches, carrying your white with you. Don't complete the twentieth stitch. Bring up your white to complete it and do 10 double crochets in the white over the next 10 stitches. Don't complete the 10th stitch. Bring up your black to finish it. You should have 25 left. So the next 25 are done in black. All right, so when you get to the end of your row, it should look like this. 15 black, 10 white, 20 black, 10 white, 20 black, 10 white, 25 black. So now you want to do four more rows exactly like this. In other words, when you turn your work, you're gonna chain three, Bring your white with you. And whatever stitch is below on the previous row, you want the same thing on top of it. So we're gonna So we're gonna start this row with 25 black. And then we'll switch to our white. And we're just going to make the next four rows look exactly like this first row. And when I get done with my four rows, I will hook back up with you.
Okay, so I've finished my five rows of double crochet. And this is how you should be looking. Mine is right at 21 inches wide without stretching it. So, and this is just the front panel. So the two panels together will be about 42 inches, but it's supposed to fit loosely. If you don't want it that wide, you would reduce the first and the last. Um, th these are the side panels that are going to stitch the front and the back together. So that's where you would make your reduction at or using a smaller hook and smaller yarn but you're not going to get too much smaller than this yarn <laughs> okay so um that is row six row seven we are going to chain three turn our work trying not to tangle our yarns we're going to do 15 black and then switch to the white and our chain three counts as our first stitch so that's two you want a total of 15 and on the 15th stitch you're going to switch to the white okay i'm at my i'm at my 15th stitch so I'm going to bring up my white and the next 10 stitches will be double crochets using the white. Working over top of your black, you're going to carry your colors with you. On the 10th stitch, we switch back over to the black and in the next 10 stitches you're going to do double crochets in the black so if if you are going to mess up it is always going to be on the pattern change row so what's happening is we're going to have a black and white checker well we have our side then we have a black and white checker then we're going to have a stripe and then a black and white checker and then a stripe and a black and white checker so we did our 10 that's our checker now we're going to do 10 more that belongs to the stripe in the black so for this this grouping of black it's a total of 20 stitches so when i was trying to figure the pattern for this i messed up a lot i did a lot of frogging And then, because of the yarn I used, it was just huge. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you get to that last stitch, which is your 20th for that, for this sequence of black, we switched back over to the white and do 10, do 10 double crochets using the white. On the 10th stitch, we're switching back to the black. and do 10 do 10 double crochets over the next 10 stitches do 
Okay. So we got our black and white check, and this next one is a stripe. So we're going to do 10 more double crochets using the black over the next 10 stitches. Okay, when you get to the 20th stitch, you're going to switch over to the white. and do 10 double crochets with the white over the next 10 stitches. Once you get to the 10th stitch, you're going to switch back over to the black, and the last 25 stitches of this row are done in the black. Okay, so this is how you should be looking now. You can't really tell the stripe just yet, but you will. So now you need to do four more rows exactly like the one we just did, where whatever stitch is below should be the same above. So you're going to mirror that row four more times. And when I get my four rows done, I will be back. Okay, so once you've completed that five rows of this pattern set, it's time to change it up again. And we're going to come back to our first pattern set, five rows. So we're switching. So our white is going to come over here and the black here, black here, white here. So it's going to be the same as this down here. We're coming up and doing five rows. So what we want to do is we're going to do this five, then we're going to do this five again, and then this five, and then this five. So we're going to do eight pattern sets, and we alternate from this one to this one and back to this one. So you should have eight uh, white squares going up and eight black squares. So anyways, it's 40 more rows. Five like this, five like this, and alternate. So we will meet back when we get those six more done, six more sets for a total of eight. So I now have my eight sets of the, the pattern, and this is where we are going to stop our side panels. So what I did is I left behind my white to finish off this last piece because we're going to start our new pattern group and we don't need the white over here. So I am going to slip stitch my way back until I get to my stitch marker and that gives me my 10 stitches for this block here. So this is also the change of the pattern. Oh shoot. So we got to bring our white up. Okay, so our first stitch will be a chain three. And then we're going to have nine more double crochets. And we're just going to work this regular, sort of. It's regular without the 15 stitches at the beginning and the 15 stitches at the end. So we'll stop here. 
and turn and go back the other direction. So we're going to do pa um, pattern set nine and then two and a half rows of pattern set 10. So when on when you get into pattern pattern set 10 on the third row, we're going to stop here and then we're going to start working on the V-neck. So meet me back when you get to the third row at your halfway point of pattern set 10. Okay, so I have completed two rows of pattern set 10 and half of row three of pattern set 10. So what we want to do is we're going to chain two, turn our work, and in the next stitch, we're gonna do a double crochet. So that chain two and that double crochet is our first decrease that counts as one stitch. And we work our way across. Just following the, the normal pattern set. And each row, when we get back to this side, to the center where the V is, we chain two when we turn our work. And we're going to keep decreasing one stitch per row. So we're going to decrease one stitch per row all the way through pattern set 13. And then we will repeat the same thing to do the other side of the v-neck. We just reattach our yarns and work the regular pattern, decreasing one stitch per row all the way through to pattern set 13. And then we get to make the back. So the decrease on the return row, where we, where we are not doing a chain two to begin the row, is, let me get there, okay. I'm there, my last two stitches, I'm going to do two double crochets together. And that gave me the decrease for that row. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Oop, it is time to change colors. So we chain two. Turn our work. Get situated with this skinny little yarn. And then not in that one, but in the next one, we do our double crochet. Whoops. And those two, the chain two, and that stitch counts as one stitch. So now you know the two different ways of reducing a stitch. One stitch per row, we're going to end up with a nice little V. And then when we finish the one side, we come back, reattach our yarns, and do the other side. So the front side of our vest is finished, completed the V-neck. We reduced the sides, the side panel, and now we have to do the back side, which for the most part I have completed because you're gonna do the same thing that you did on the front with the 110 following the same pattern when you get to pattern set eight and have completed that 
you delete the side panels. And instead of working a V-neck, you just go all the way up. So I have two rows left because the two rows are different than the rest of the rows. And I'm playing yarn chicken. This is all the white I have left in my skein. Hopefully I can get through the two rows. It's only going to be 10, 20, 30, 60 stitches. We'll see. I might have to break out another skein. And I'm into my third one on the black. So let me put my eyeballs on. All right, so what I've done is on my front panel, I have 23 stitches on each side. So I have marked stitch number 24 on both sides with some stitch markers. And, oh no. So what we are going to do, let me get all my yarn situated, is we're going to do 23 of the double crochets, changing our colors where appropriate. So when we get to stitch number 24, or however yours worked out. We're going to switch to half double crochet so that we can make a slight little curvature for the back of the neck. And we're going to do that all the way over to the stitch marker and then convert for the last part of our row back to the double crochet and then do the last row the exact same way. I did it. And see with the half double crochet how it has this very slight little curvature for the back of the neck. So now what I need to do is work in my ends, and yes, look, I had plenty of white left. Well, not plenty, but more than enough for what I needed. I didn't have to break out another skein of yarn. So now we want to work in any ends on both sides that we have flying around. There should not be many at all. And then we're going to put this baby together. Once you've worked in your ends, it's time to put the front and the back sides together. So what you want to do is to continue your checkered board pattern. The back should be white and the front should be black or the black should be white or the front should be white and the back should be black. You just want to continue that checkered board pattern. And we're going to line up our stitches i'm just going to pin it in place here and we know that where we started our half double crochet is our 24th stitch or my 24th stitch so i'm going to if i can see this black yarn Okay, so we do that on both sides. We're going to single crochet it together on both sides. And then down the sides of our sweater vest, we are going to line up our top and bottom and single crochet those edges together on both of those sides. 
So let's finish that and we'll come back and put our trim around our armholes and our neckline. We did it. We finished our Wednesday Adams checkerboard and stripe sweater vest. And it looks fabulous. It's the front. And this is the back. And, uh, wow, what a task this was. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, this is my version of the vest. I hope that you were able to um, see how it was done with the tutorial and that you give it a try. And uh, I won't kid you. You're going to burn the midnight oils making this one. There are a lot of stitches in this vest. Especially, especially if you use the small yarn and the small hook to be able to follow the actual pattern of the vest. So let's see. Give it a little spin. Here's kind of a side view. Whoa, this thing's all wobbly. Here's kind of a side view. The back. Um, I think I'm unscrewing this from the, the thing. <laughs> Let me turn it the other way. There's the back. It's loose fitting. It's not tight. And it goes probably down to the hip. But it is just great. You know, it's not as easy to dress a mannequin as you would think it is. Anyhow, so if you click on this link over here, it will take you to the next great video tutorial.